Hey, we're getting ready to go down to Kissimmee, Florida. We're going to the Meekum auction down there. And Meekum says this is the largest auction in the world. So we are pumped up. We're ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> a little problem with the first flight. Got a three hour delay. But we loaded up. And we'll try and hit the second half of the auction today, which is Friday. See when we get there. So we arrive in Kissimmee, we go to our hotel, get checked in, and we go straight over to the auction. And one of the first things we ran into was a drifting demonstration held by Dodge. Check this out. So we went down to the auction block early Saturday morning expecting an auction. What we got was this. Crazy. We didn't know what was going on, but we were loving it. People were jumping, clapping, dancing, and we were right in the middle of it. What an awesome way to start the day. Just do it one more time. I promise, Jimmy. We'll do it one more time tomorrow morning. All right. All right, everyone. Now we were ready to look at cars. They had all kinds of cars. Race cars, classic cars, muscle cars, super cars. And speaking of super cars, let's go up on the block right now and check out this McLaren on the exposed carbon fiber body, a $300,000 option, a twin turbo, 789 horsepower engine, top speed, 211 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds, a 2019 McLaren Senna. And somebody get $2 million, anybody get two, and $2 million, anybody get two, anybody get one million five. A million five, somebody give one million dollars. At one million dollars, hey, you better give one, hey, you better give one, hey, you better give six hundred thousand dollars in bid. Now seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand. At nine hundred thousand, I'm gonna eat fifty nine hundred. At nine hundred fifty million, I have nine hundred fifty bid a million. At one million dollars, I got nine fifty bid a million. A million now, one, one million, one, one million, two, one million, two, bid, two, 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 one million, two, three, one million, three, one million, two, three, bid, you better get three, 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 one million, two, three. I have a million, two, bid, you better get three, you better get one million, three. I have a million, two, bid, you better get three, you better get three, you better get one million, three. One million, two. If you're a Stephen King fan, you know this car. 
That's right, it's Christine. I am a huge fan of the car and the movie. You gotta love this. This is one of the three cars that were driven in the movie. Uh, I'm such a fan. This is ridiculous. Look at the price on this thing. It went through the block earlier today. $275,000 was the high bid, and it was not enough to buy the car. This car is in absolute show condition. And of course, along with the car comes a poster and the marquee lighting. This is how it appeared in the movie theaters in 1983. And here we have the most talked about car of the weekend. This is the 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback that starred in the movie Bullet, along with Steve McQueen. This thing went for $3.4 million today. Unbelievable. Here's Benny checking out the famous race scene from the movie. Go, Benny. There you go. The look and what made that scene, that 10 minute segment, so special in this movie is that they weren't done on a lot. They were actually done right on the streets of San Francisco. That had not been done before. That was one of the things that Steve McQueen wanted to bring about is this completely organic feel. When you're watching the chase scene, you're thinking, man, this is so edgy. This is so raw. These guys were driving these cars. They were driving fast and they were driving hard. I think it just hit the right timing where technology hit. It was like you were there in the car, riding in the car on the big screen. To have a real idea of how big this auction was, you have to get out there and walk around. And man, we walked all around on Saturday, and by Saturday night, we were wiped out. But that was nothing that a huge rack of barbecued ribs couldn't fix. And man, did that hit the spot. When it was all over, we headed back to North Carolina. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Hey everyone, John and Jim here. Thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoyed it. Please like us, friend us on Facebook. Also, be sure to follow us on YouTube, subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications because we're always posting new content. We want to, as soon as we post anything, you guys will be the first ones to know. Hope you enjoy it. Feel free to leave a comment and there'll be plenty more to come. See you later, guys. Thank you. All right. I hope the thing was recording. Oh, yeah. Is it recording? Yeah.